everyone so for this video i'm going to be talking about axolotls what they are um, what they eat what their common diseases are their filtration system pretty much everything that you will need to know before you decide to get one um a lot of people don't know what an axolotl really is my father called it fish with legs other people thought it was a lizard or a frog but actually axolotls are mexican salamanders although um they're in the water um they're not a fish they're amphibians they originated in the lakes of Mexico City, but unfortunately, they are now extinct due to polluted waters in the lakes of Mexico. Many people confuse axolotls with water dogs. So water dogs, um, they look pretty much like an axolotl, but the difference is um, water dogs undergo metamorphosis. So once they reach adulthood, they will go out of the water and they will lose their gills. However, axolotls doesn't. They will forever stay in the water and they will forever have their gills with them. So there are five basic types of axolotls. So there's a wild type, um, leucistic, melanoid, um, white albino, and golden albino. So I have um, three axolotls in total. So there's Toothless. He's a melanoid. Um, he looks a lot like Toothless from the ha How to Train Your Dragon. Um, I love the film, which is why I instantly fell in love with him when I first saw him. And then there's... Um, Axel, she's the first um, axolotl that we had. She's uh, a white albino and she's already an adult when we got her. And then we have Daenerys, she's a leucistic and also a GFP. Um, so basically, she has dark eyes like Toothless, and then um, she glows in the dark when a black light was pointed on her. So first thing that I want to talk to you about is the housing. So an adult axolotl needs at least a 10 gallon tank. However, um, the bigger the size of the tank, the better. You'll know that your axolotl reached their adult stage when they're about 6 inches long. Um, axolotls like to stay at the bottom inside of the tank. They don't swim around like fish does. So um, make sure that you get a wider tank to get more um, floor space instead of a taller one. So axolotls don't like lights. Um, they don't have eyelids like we do, so too much lights may cause blindness for them. If you will need lights for your plants, like mine, um, I recommend that you get a hiding spot for your axolotl. Um, for mine, I get a little pie for him to hide whenever, um, whenever I turn on the lights. So for your filtration system, I recommend that you get the one that has a uh, adjustable water flow. Axolotls don't like too much water movement, it irritates them. My filter, um, it comes with a tank, so which is why I cut out a piece of a platform and then attach it there to make um, the water flow smoother. So keep in mind that the water temperature should be around 16 to 22 degrees Celsius. Um, lower temperature can make make axolotls inactive and make them um, lose their appetite. Um, however, higher temperatures can um, make axolotls rest. So um, Axolotl's stable diet is an earthworm, specifically night crawlers. Um, if you're not comfortable with um, cutting or looking at earthworms, I don't recommend that you get an axolotl. So basically, to feed my axolotl, I just um, put one worm inside this cup and soak it with water for a little bit you might have to um, cut it into small pieces if your ex model can eat the whole thing but for mine you can eat it so it won't be a problem for me so I and then I just drop it and then he will catch it see I also feed mine with pellets from time to time and small guppies and small shrimps are okay but just as a treat it is not recommended as their um, stable diet so for the maintenance I do 20% water change every week um, axolotls are very sensitive creatures so whenever you see their poop or if they have leftover foods you must take it out as soon as you can um, poop um, leftover foods and chemicals leads to fungus and red leg infection which are the common diseases for an axolotl so um to end this video 
I just want everyone to know how high maintenance an axolotl can be. So if you want to get an axolotl or any other pet, make sure that you get your research done before. Just so you know, um, axolotls can live up to 15 years. So if you can adhere to their needs or if you can um, take care of them all throughout, just don't get one. Um, we don't want animals to die. We want them to grow. We want them to live. We want them to reproduce. So I hope you learned something from this video and I hope to see you again.